Hello, everyone. You, me, Valheim. Tell us about it, Shades. No. Hey, we back in here. Tim, will you do me a solid and look my direction for un momento here? No. Thank cool. you. I'll fix it. Oh, got, okay. uh, got some stuff fermenting. Yeah, I saw that, and uh, we do have... It looks like in this chest you happen to have mead base. How much does one mead base make? After you get done fermenting it, how many uh, potions does it make? Like seven or eight, something like that. Six, seven, eight, okay. I forget. Somewhere in that range. At we least do have poison. We do have neck meat in the uh, meat chest, so I'll leave that, but I'll cook the deer meat so that we have something to eat. And you still have not gotten other cauldron stuff, right? Cauldron stuff? Yeah, I don't know if you picked up something to make it. Do you want like to I... destroy the cauldron and then rebuild it? See if that fixes nah. it? Nah. Nah. Whatever. We'll figure. I'll, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, uh, you're just on fire. But, like, in an NBA jam kind of way? No, you're just on fire. <laughs> what did we need? What was yeah, the if this is your four. Friends, if this is your first time joining us on the YouTube channel or whatever, we are in the midst of uh, War of Attrition against the Bone Mass boss. We have made multiple attempts across two episodes to take this guy down. We feel like we got a good formula. It's just a matter of, you know, sometimes it stinks when you take the the anti -po anti anti poison resistance and then you die to something completely unrelated to bone mass, and now yep. that's that gets burnt. So we we got to have hefty stacks of the poison meads, and then uh, it seems like the mace is the play against using using it against him. And uh, in D and D terms, I think we had success like flanking him. Well, I guess that's not really a D and D term. It's just in D and D terms, we rolled our <laughs> dice for crits, uh -huh. and uh -huh. uh, we got some. But he crit us. Uh huh. We rolled some nat ones. We should do a Valheim D and D one shot one of these days. What does that mean? Oh, it's just a D and D campaign, but we have to fight Bone Mass and Ike Theron. <laughs> oh. We play a D&D &D one shot in Valheim. I, I'd be into that. <laughs> I don't know the semantics of how it'd work, but. All right, I cooked some deer meat. I'm going to put uh, I'm going to split them and give you some in the cooked meat chest. You haven't seen any um, blood bags, have you? Blood bags? I have not. So I have five. You can get more. Be useful for making... Oh, hey. Oh, a single dandelion. <laughs> That's actually what I needed. What are you trying to make? There is a healing... Medium healing... So it heals over time. It's a mead. Oh, that's right. It's part of the thing that's that is difficult to fighting bone mass is that uh, you know we got the poison resistance, but then we just gotta wait for it, you know, the poison or to just heal up. Regenerates stamina fast. Let's get some minor stamina as well. What what does it take to build another fermenter? Five bronze, thirty fine wood. I don't know how close we were to getting bronze. Yeah, we're uh, might be a ways off from that. 
In fact, I recall that if we had the bronze, I would have used it to upgrade my mace. Part of me wants to just do a bunch of hunting for stuff. To prep for bone mass? Yeah, or in general? Just in general. For bone mass and future things. I feel like we're on the cusp of beating bone mass, though, is the thing. Yeah. Like, I don't want us to get too caught in the weeds of prep work when I feel like it's just a matter of execution at this point. Boar meat. You haven't seen boar meat, have you? I'm hunting boars right now. How much boar meat do you need? Well, I want to make some minced meat sauce. It requires boar meat, necktail, and carrots. We have some raw necktail in the raw meat uh, chest. Okay. I, I just got done seeing you walk past. I got at least two boar meat on me right now. There you go. Let me drop this for you. There you go. That's all yours. Whoa, someone's effing up our bees. They don't like our bees. The bees are happy. Oh, and I guess this episode will answer the question of whether bone mass is regenerating health because we got them halfway. It, it is. Oh, yeah. That's what that's, I reckoned. Yeah. Definitely was when I was looking at him. That's it wasn't, what I it reckoned. wasn't like super quick or anything, but it was like you have to like focus it down a little bit. I'm exposed. Other than the mead, I don't know if there's anything we want to do while we... Because I want to cook the mead. All this oh mead yeah, that's going to take some time. Yeah, it's going to take... Maybe we could look for bronze, but I'm not... You know, I feel like if... It's really just like a, a few days or whatever, so... It doesn't hurt yeah. to do stuff in the meantime. Because I don't want to, like, go after it right now while we're... Close, I guess. Oh. 
Oh, was it for fire arrows? Resin and then feathers, that's right. Did we have a lot of feathers? I feel like we did. Oh, yeah. All right, fire arrows. I don't know that these will necessarily be good against bone mass, but hey, it's something to like slow down his healing, I guess. There's no harm in having a couple. Someone outside punching. Not I. I just saw the portal activate. Did you go somewhere? No, I just walked by it. Oh, okay. this here leather scraps I don't remember where I got that but all right where did we find bronze stuff would it have been in the uh, black forest yeah we would need copper and tin Oof. that's a commitment if we decide to do that that's an entirely different episode altogether Oh, as long as I should make sure we clear out the uh, the death markers in that area because it got kind of tough to find more <laughs> to pick up my armor. That's a good point. I don't think I had anything. Oh, I still have one there. I forgot you had that mask. If you have any blueberries, you can make some deer stew with that. That deer meat. Deer stew? Yeah. Well, you'll need Let's blueberries see. and carrots. And cooked deer meat. But I don't know what our blueberry situation is. My blueberry situation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Took me a moment to process <laughs> Oh the yeah, we are situation. low. We are low on blueberries. I don't think we ever think to pick them up. Is the thing we I pass by them all the time. Like we're not constantly running through black forest these days. You want to go to bed real quick just to reset the day? Yeah. And I don't know if that makes time. It does. Time cycle. Okay. Oh, that. As for far as the meat. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's be sure to stay on top of that while we're waiting for that to ferment. I didn't get a dream. It was a malarkey. Sucks to suck. Sucks to suck is right. What is the button to activate my power? Oh, good. It's that one. <laughs> Done. Yeah, if you uh, if you have any spare poison ones, just put them in my chest upstairs. I'll grab them before we commit to bone mass. Oh, that was just a, that was medium healing. Oh, okay. Well, it's up to you. If, how many, well, how much of a stack was it? Six. Okay. If you want to go three and three, that's fine by me. Yeah. And then I've got a, another stamina mead that I can throw in as well. Or 
Got another medium healing and another stamina one. So I can throw them in. I'm going to go hunting for some blueberries and or meat. I won't stray too far, so if it becomes nighttime again, just call me over. We'll cycle the day one more time. And I will hunt for other things. Sounds like a plan. And by other things, I mean metals. Ooh. Going to the Black Forest? Yeah. You, you know what? If you're, going, if, if you're going that way, I'll go with you. It's dangerous to go alone. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I guess. Oh, thanks, man. Seems like everything is valuable now, including dandelions. <laughs> it's a good thing we had like I... a f we had a huge stack of them. Is this because of the meads you're saying that? Yeah. Raspberries are useful. Blueberries. Anything you can forage is pretty much useful. Tim, I know you're a big, big sports fan. Of course. Do you have, do you have any predictions about uh, the Eastern Conference Finals matchup this evening between the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics? Do you have a prediction? I was going to say the Rangers are going to take it. Or maybe New the York Devils. Rangers or Texas Rangers? Uh, yeah. Excellent. Very good. New York. The New York Rangers are going to win the NBA Finals. That's your prediction. New York Rangers is... That's hockey, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait, that's... Yeah, it's... New Jersey Devils is hockey. Mm-hmm. I think the Red Wings will go all the way. That's generally always a safe guess. I'm not even a big hockey guy, but I know the Red Wings win a lot. I don't know how they're doing this season, though. It's like saying the Yankees are going to win the World Series. It's generally a safe bet. But but also, like, when was the last time they won the World Series? The Yankees? I think yeah. it's been two decades. Yeah. But they, just, they did go through that phase where they just wouldn't stop winning. <laughs> Oh yeah, fir tree is good. Did like I even cold. bring a pickaxe with me? I'm a dummy. <laughs> Unless the stag breaker does it, I didn't bring a, a, a pickaxe with me. I'm just here to protect you, I guess. And find blueberries, more importantly. You find carrot seeds, those are good. Where do you find them? Are they just on the ground? They are like the white circle-y, puffy thing, flower things you find. Okay. They look like the dandelions, like the, the puffy dandelions. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, there's a, there's a, a, a troll friend. over here. Yeah, a friend. Nice try. That <laughs> hopped over my head. We did need troll hide for something. Probably just upgrading our apes. I think there's a specific armor set that uses troll stuff. We only have the capes, but there is like a full armor set, I believe. Yeah, but that wasn't like particularly. I don't think it's much better than good. what we have. Yeah. But, you know, rule of cool. You know what I mean? Sure. That's your just out and about wear. <laughs> is he retreating? Oh, no, there he's just he is. following me. Or you. 
He's almost done with his. I've got him like past half. Yeah. Don't run away. I think he's retreating. This is the first time I've seen a troll like scared of us. Yeah. We'll go find someone else to bother. Got him. Now we gotta carve him up like Monster Hunter. Oh wow, nice. A lot of troll hides. Raw hide. Oh, and coins too. I was gonna do something. Oh, right. There's some tin, and then I was interrupted. By a troll. Is this where we have our mini base? It do be our mini base. Did I get all the tin already? Oh, hey, fish. Oh, we can use those in the uh, thing if you catch one. I do want to get a fishing rod, but that re requires buying one from the merchant. You can't just make one? Not that I know of. Weird. Which is, yeah. Not a complicated thing. Minecraft, you just use some sticks and a, some string. I mean, also in the context of, like, your guy is yeah. building swords on his own, but, like... Yeah, exactly. A f fishing pole, too difficult, fam. Can't do it. <laughs> Tony Stark built this in a cave with nothing but a box of scraps. I mean, he had weapon parts, too. He wasn't just putting together random rocks together and built an Iron Man suit. Tim, I got a question completely unrelated to Valheim. I don't believe you. It's gotta be secretly about Valheim. Yes. If Captain Planet was in the MCU, how strong would you think he'd be in comparison to the other MCU characters? Would Captain pa would Captain Planet canonically be stronger than Captain America? It's been so long since I've seen anything Captain Planet related, so I don't know how to judge that. So I'm going to say 100%. 100% Captain Planet would be stronger than Captain America? Yeah. Is he stronger than Iron Man? Yes. All right. It's been a while since you... Okay, so as a refresher, Captain Planet, he's our hero, and he takes pollution down to zero. Of course. So that's all I need to hear to be convinced. Put all my money into the Captain Planet stock. <laughs> Jeff, you don't happen to have some inventory space, would you? I do. I'm a sad guy. You want to come over here? Uh, I'm dealing with some gray dwarves. Just give me a memento to just clear out. All right, I'm coming your way. Remember when we used to have a cart? Where did we leave that? Oh, no. <laughs> it's possible it just got destroyed at some point. I feel like we left it in one of the summer residences. What did you give me? Oh, tin ore. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm I'm also here just to be a uh, spare <laughs> carriage, I guess. Are you over? No, I'm just holding stuff I don't want. You're sweating. Like, I don't. Are you just wet? I, I'm just wet. Yeah. Okay. Stuff from over encumbered thing. Skeleton. I was gonna get that bird. We're the planeteers. You can be one too. Saving our planet is the thing to do. 
looting and polluting is not the way you know Captain Planet has to say. Who's growling? Not I. Another troll? Where? Did I hit it? Did I hit it? I did hit it. <laughs> oh, rock, you missed. Seagull just dove straight into the ground. Oh. It's funny how strong bows are against them. Nice. Mushrooms. Uh, it's looks like it's getting dark soon. Do you want to go to the makeshift cabin in Un Momento? Yeah, I'm going to walk along the coast as I'm heading that way. Just All right. She'll follow you. See if there's any other stuff we can pick up along the way. Was there ever a reason to go into a troll cave outside of fighting the troll itself? Did it have uh, treasures? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, let's get back over to the makeshift uh, base and then uh, we'll cycle the day. I haven't seen blueberries in a while. And when I went out hunting for them one day, I just took a while to even find any. I think we've got like a conga line of bad guys coming. <laughs> Kind of bad guys. Great wars. And a neck. Oh, hey. Some deer meat and <laughs> a bunch of blueberries. just saw deer meat on the ground yeah was it a oh. dead deer and a bunch of blueberries right there so I could almost make a Maybe deer the stew blueberries off are that. poison the, the blueberries are poison dude that's how the deer ended up dead it could be or from the numerous gray dwarves around This is copper. Whether we're rested affects our health recovery, right? Because maybe that's something to factor into us as we fight bone mass. Yeah. This looks like copper. But it's not. It's like the same mesh they use. 
We just have a stray torch over here. What was this for? <laughs> when did we ever... It was probably oh. from when I was uh, doing a lot of mining. I have lit the torch once again so that it'll shine bright. Gondor calls for aid. Oh, hey, here's Gondor some feathers. calls for aid is right. <laughs> some feathers that I don't have room for. I'll take the feathers. Where are they? You might have picked them up already. Oh, okay. The beacon is lit. AF. Two towers or Return of the King? I feel like that was a two towers bit. Uh, if it was Gondor calls for aid, it would probably be uh, Return of the King. Yeah, that makes sense. Which one is the one where Aragorn had the ghoulie friends? Was that Return of the King? Yeah. Right. Grayling is teleporting. I thought it was about to become nighttime. I guess not. Yeah, it definitely seemed like it was about to. Maybe just us being in the Black Forest made it seem that way. This is not the house, but there is a chest here. <laughs> yeah. I saw a bed and a chest. I'm like, this isn't it. Oh, we have a forge here and everything. Yeah, we have a entire... You just want to go back to the regular base? What do you want to do? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt. Before I set this as the spawn point, we might as well head head on back. Yeah, it's still pretty lit out. This is the one. It's I just lit AF, in. as the young people would say. They would say that. All right, I'm heading on back. Tim, being the major sports fan that you are, how do you feel about uh, the Lakers getting swept the other day and how it affects LeBron's legacy? You as a sports analyst. Yeah. Um, I almost had that job um, as a sports sports analyst for ESPN, but they're like, no, we're going to go with someone else because yeah. you already <laughs> have a job in game development. <laughs> yeah. This is a big crossover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For, uh, for talent. Between the two uh, of industries. Course, of course. Is this the right? Is this the way we usually go? I don't remember. It's just, I'm having like a Gandalf just, moment. I have no <laughs> recollection of this place. <laughs> Gandalf moment. That's something Gandalf is known for. Forgetting things. No, he, he totally forgot that when they I were mean, in the yeah. cage. I know, but saying I have a Gandalf moment, moment does not like. <laughs> My first instinct is not, oh, yeah, the guy who forgets things. <laughs> All right, now it looks like we can cycle the day and set on over. It's two days, right, for the mead to do its thing? What? Oh, that's wood. <laughs> Just something floating on the roof. Fiddler on the roof, dude. I, don't, I might as well drop off this tin. But yeah, it should be like two days. Some of this. I have more I picked up more neck tails along the way if you wanted anything more for the meads alright I should drop off my let's rest first before I drop off my tin do you want some do you have any cooked deer meat or I well, do I guess I can cook some deer meat I do have cooked deer meat, but I don't particularly see an option for anything. There's a deer stew. Yeah, I don't see it. No, not the neck. 
I'll tell you what, <laughs> there should be cooked deer meat in the cooked meat uh, chest. I see it. Why would it? I'll tell no. you what, my friend. I don't want cooked boar meat. I don't want to cook that. What can we All get? Alright, we have this? 28 tin ore in this one chest. There was like the one outside? Yeah. I, I dropped off my stack. So we're at 28 now. What do I have on me? Oh, yeah, I have these coins I picked up from the troll. And drop that off right here. Gonna pay We're almost at like a full 999 stack for our coins. We gotta find a merchant or something at some point. I know where they are. We just gotta actually take the trip out there. Well, we need to take a boat. Yeah. Man. We should set up a portal near it. Oh yeah, after we finish off Bone Mass, we should like consider the naming conventions of our portals. Yeah. All right, let's cycle the day. Let's cycle the day. Let's, uh... Let me drop off wanting... a couple things for you in your chest. All right. There's some foods in there. Resting. I'm unloading unused assets. No. Keep that in memory. <laughs> oh, I gotta cook some deer meat. Mince to meat sauce. I don't know what that does, but I'll take that. Medium healing. Deer stew. Electric boogaloo. I wonder if me acquiring those have unlocked the cauldron stuff. Nope. <laughs> I don't know, man. Weird. I'll have to lo look that up, why I don't see those recipes. Yeah, the only thing I, I can think of is that I built the cauldron, so I got the recipes right away. Have they always weird. been available? But I don't know. Some things. I don't know. Once I acquired, like, some items, I was able to cook it. Oh, you know what? What are some of the basic items? Have you picked up any blood bags? I have not that I know of. You don't see poison resistance in there? I do see the meads. I see what? meads like I see mead poison resistance. The 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 mead base, the queen's jam, but when you're talking about like deer stew, like, pick what? up a blue was... pick up a blueberry. There's probably some in or maybe. Hmm. There might be a blueberry somewhere. If not, then Oh, I see one in this chest. Alright, so if I take this blueberry and bring it to the cauldron, what do I see? Nah, nothing, fam. What about carrot? A carrot? You know what? That makes sense. I feel like you've been picking up all the carrots that we've found. Let's see if that does anything spicy. Hey, oh, hey, look at that. New crafting recipes. Yeah. Is that it? That was totally it. Okay. <laughs> I figured it was something. I see the minced meat sauce. Okay. Meat based tasty. I don't think I see... Oh, there's the deer stew. Hey, look at that. <laughs> all right. It was the carrot all along. The carrots we met along the way. <laughs> the real deer stew was the friends we made along the way. Oh, let's make some deer stew. Let me drop off some 
We got the the poison mead base in the the not cauldron uh, fermenter right now. Yeah. All right. Still fermenting. All right. When we when we make our uh, second bone mass attempt, let's remember like we don't have to bring the full stack of poison resistance. We can like maybe take two, leave the rest in a safe place, so that we just don't do an oopsie and drop, <laughs> and drop the, drop them in an, uh, a difficult yeah, spot. Did we have a chest at that house? If not, we could just set one there. That house, I feel like, is always on the brink of getting <laughs> destroyed. So we can we can make a chest there. We can, or just know. leave. We could have a chest right around here. I'll set one. I'll set up a chest so that it's just on the second floor across from the portals. So I mean, we, we just... have our, our designated chest by our beds is the thing. Yeah, no, but no, this, no. Is, this is so that's like, this is just for the food stuff that we are going to bring along right, the way. Just so it's separate from everything else. Do we not have wood in one of these chests or do I have to go out and find it? I guess I got to go out and find it. In the oh. room. Wood should be in the the shack we have on the off to the side there. The storage. Uh, what do you call those storage places that people rent out to put their anime figures in? It's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what do people call those storage spaces, and what do they use it for? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. That honey took forever to get up. Um, storage units. There we go. Like the... Um, I don't know what the name is. The companies are that... That do that stuff. I saw a YouTube story about like a guy who lives... He works in one of those Silicon Valley tech companies and the rent and the cost of living in that area is so high and he makes it work because he just he rents out a u-haul for a you know just whatever the the price is for a u-haul for a month and then he lives in it and he just showers and eats at the office and it's like that's depressing but it's ingenious you know Except it, like, has no, um, well, Bathroom. I guess if you're living in the cab or whatever. Don't have, I don't know, eating or anything. Yeah, but again, you're in, you're in Cali, so it's like, eh. It's still in the <laughs> San Francisco area, it, it gets cold. It's just fun to think about, like, you know, you you work at one of those tech companies, and obviously those tech companies have a lot of money, so they provide you food, free food, free drinks, or whatever. Yeah. And then, like, they have the facilities where you get a shower and a nice bathroom. So it's like, yeah, it's kind of you can kind of do that. It's depressing that you have to, but if you can if you can make it work, yeah, man. They also do it so that you don't leave. Mm-hmm. So you just work there all the time. You just never go home. Might as well cook all the deer meat because as far as I know, it's not used uncooked. All right. Like the deer still uses cooked deer meat and most other things used. That seems like, to, that seems to be the only other thing. Where did that deer meat go? Here we go. Oh, you took them all. <laughs> yeah, the That's raw fine. meat? Yeah, I was going to cook them. But if, you, if just you're did, already on yeah. it. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be trying to get out. <laughs> Do you need wood for anything, or should I just go ahead and start making some coal over on this side? Not really. Alright. Actually, it looks like we do have coal already. Should I go ahead and start uh, smelting the... What was it? Tin that we got? Yeah, why not? Get that stuff going. You're carrying too much. I'm a sad boy. Turn up. Oh. Oh. Did get some turnip seeds. Are you farming over there? You playing Farmville? Yeah. The only reason I ever go on Facebook anymore is just to Farmville all day. What's the Farmville community like these days? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever played Farmville. My mom went through a big Farmville phase. Let's get some turnips. Everyone loves turnips. Jeff, I'm going to do something bold. All right. I'm going to build a wall around the honey. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, tear down these walls. I'm tired of all these graylings getting into our honey. <laughs> I am out of wood. I can no longer protect it. I'll just use it all. Didn't you mention something about building a stone house at some point? Now yeah. That we got, we might be spawning trolls. Yeah, we're going to be. And we've already done it, so... Like, we might as well... Like, a, a next house just build it out of stone instead. Speaking of which, Grayling's showing up as I'm building the fence. Copper and tin to make a single bronze. Oh boy! Do I have your blessing to get the copper and tin going in the smelter or forger? Did you have yeah. any no, grand just... plan for that? All right. No. I think I'm at the point where we don't really need it for anything other than bronze. I don't think we need copper for anything. 
I think Copper's main purpose was for the bronze, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Why'd I do that? Gotta go get my pickaxe again. Poison looks like it's done. Yeah. What other meads can I toss in? Man, it's coming back to me that the smelter takes a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Did you have a grand plan with the bronze? Because I would like to update my mace, but if you... I feel like it does enough damage that I can make it work against... It's really mass. just to get, like, another... Um, fermenter, but, like, it's fine if you use it. The fermenter uses bronze? Yeah. Interesting. We already, you know have, a, we already have a fermenter, let's... so like it's fine if you use it. I guess. Let's let's see what it ends up looking like. What is see your what the... bron what is your bronze mace at now? One. Or it'd be like one. The, the It's one. How much what's its damage? Because mine says fifty three blunt. 35. Okay. So it seems like it's significant enough for an increase. Mm-hmm. No! Up grabbing the rest of that wood or something wood no yeah. i just have the wood that's in the uh yeah I, there was coal already in the uh the chest so i didn't use the wood oh that's fine i'll collect some more Now the only thing that could get the bees are aerial attacks, or like a troll. <laughs> no more random graylings coming in, messing them up. Get some copper going in here. Oh, my guy does not like holding that much. I like the encumbered logo is like a guy holding a parcel.
Oh, it looks like I will need to take that wood because we are out of coal. How are we doing on poison meads? What's the uh, what's our stacks looking like? Fat we stacks. A, we had a sec, stack of six each, or six all together. Total. Okay. Uh the ground is shaking. Oh boy! Whoa, mama! We got some trolls coming, Tim. Gondor calls for aid. Oh, I got trapped for a second. I'm gonna try to lure them away. Yeah, we gotta get them away from the bees. I mean, the house too. <laughs> got some bug fly into my face, and, like right as this, these guys show up. I don't even see where the other one is. He's by me. Okay. We will divide and conquer. That's fine. How are you holding up? I'm uh, fine. The shakes starts to fade. Oh. Okay. Did you kill the other one? No, I just saw the prompt that I guess they're... I don't know. Mine's down. Mine's was... down also. Good. I don't think we lost anything. Hey, we were ready for them that time. Why is it super dark? It's super foggy. Like, as soon as I beat my troll, it got super dark in a concerning type of way. Like a second wave of them were coming or something. Yeah. Uh, okay. What happened? <laughs> it's just like, I can't even see the house. It's just like, the draw distance is just so short. This is like golden eye. <laughs> yep. People make that comparison all the time. Goldeneye and Valheim. Yep. Two sides, <laughs> opposite sides of the same coin. Well, you wanna you wanna rest up and we'll cycle the day. Yeah. Uh, that's not the house. Those guys better not have messed up my carrots. So of all the things we could have lost, you're most concerned about the carrots. Well, I had just <laughs> planted it. And like, the wall is fine. Like, we've repaired it before. It sucks, but like... Yeah, they didn't really do any damage.
I'm going to run to the restroom and grab another drink real quick. Not not from the restroom. I'm I'm doing two separate oh, okay. things for, for everyone's clarity. I'm not gross. <laughs> sure. Jeff keeps a fridge in his bathroom. Oh, did you already sleep? Yep. All right. Well, it's a good thing we have this elaborate wall against the beehives so that the trolls can't get over here. I'm sure this would 100% stop them. <laughs> it was mostly like to stop all the random graylings that attack oh, yeah. it every day. I hear you. They like to go up in there and mess with them. Also the bears. Chicago? Yeah. That Brian Erlacher always messing with our beehives in our Valheim game. <laughs> We don't have any roots, do we? There's a, a chest called plants or seeds or something. If we do have roots, it would be in there. Yeah, I don't see any. I think roots were from... Is that abomination, maybe? Mayhaps. I was just thinking, maybe I could upgrade my... my mask with Jim Carrey. <laughs> Smoking! Yep. That's how he said it, right? That's exactly how he said it. Somebody stopped me. Because I'm smoking. <laughs> Smoking's bad for me. It's verbatim. Okay, do I have enough to upgrade? Okay, I need four bronze and I'm at three. But I just need a bit more copper. What is the coal situation? Not a lot. 
I'm making more, but uh, yeah, not a lot of. I'll go out and grab some wood. How are we doing on stream time? A little over an hour. I say, uh, before we get too deep into the stream, let's make a, an attempt at Bone Mass and we'll see how it plays out. I'm sure it'll go swimmingly. This will be in a swamp. E yeah, fam. Any objections before I upgrade my bronze mace here and use four bronze for it? Go for it. Let's do it. Alright, I'm at 47 blood damage now. It's gonna be eight bronze to upgrade it again? That's not happening. Where are you at with it? Uh, well, I just... You, I, what? Well, was it your thing? Two for my bronze mace. Gonna need 16 copper. I don't know if we're gonna have 16 copper. Uh, I don't know that not that's gonna happen. Not without spending some time mining. How are we doing on the meads? Um, now for a second I opened two different chests and saw two different stacks, two different pickaxes in them. We've got six poison upstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, we should each have three healing ones. And then there's um, a stamina one in fermenting right now. So our split for poisons would be three, three and three. Each. Am I understanding yeah. correctly? Yep. That's that's where we were at last. I was hoping for a bit more, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Well, having more stamina and also having healing will help for sure. Are those timed buffs, or do they last until you die? The stamina one at they're, least. They're they're timed, I believe. Um. See, the healing lasts. I don't know. It just doesn't. It might time. be a one-time heal. It, that might just be a one-time heal then. What well, says heal? Oh, healing over health over time. Yeah, maybe. The poison, it doesn't have a duration. Ten minutes, if I recall correctly. I mean, it doesn't list a duration on it. That's why I was wondering if it had a duration or if it was just unlimited. I'm tense, I'm nervous, but I think we got this. 
So I probably don't care about my stag breaker. Just kind of figured out that it's not. I'm going to bring mine just to have something in case something egregiously bad happens, but I think I'll leave behind my sword. Or maybe the bow can come along for whoever skeletons come by. I can tell you I don't need feathers. I'm taking one poison mead from this chest. Just to have it ready. And you said we got stamina meads going at the moment? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think it's fine to, like, keep the poison in there so that we can just grab it when we need it. Mm -hmm. The other ones... If they're just one time, like it, a single burst of healing or whatever, then it's probably... The part that I got tilted with last time is that I took a poison mead and I got killed by a ghoulie on the way oh, to yeah, bone yeah. mass. So I was like, maybe we hold off on using them until we're actually... Yeah. Until we see the white of his eyes. I don't remember if his eyes are white. I'll say they are. So it fits. We'll edit that in post. Yeah, we'll edit. <laughs> Use some more cloud berries. Did you grab the stews and stuff that I set aside for you? I think you just handed them to me. You didn't set them aside. I think, and yeah, I got them. I thought I put something in one of your chests. I'll check again. There is something in there. All right. Another deer stew. Ooh, deer stew, electric boogaloo. Said we need 18 copper to get what we need for another mace upgrade for me. It'll be two times however much bronze. Sixteen. All right. Well, I uh used the poison mead. <laughs> I'm gonna fight bone mass. Let's go. 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 I was literally just thinking I should move this so it's not a, a hotkey that I can bump. Um, honestly, I've got like ten minutes. Whatever. No ghosts immediately. He's got some damage on him already. He is not fully healed. Where is he? I don't see him. Yeah. Now he's healed? What? I don't know. Valheim works in mysterious ways. Yeah, I'm not seeing I hear the either. music. The music is playing. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't see him. I'm scared. Tim, I'm scared. Oh, there's a skeleton chasing me. Oh, there he is. It's just hanging out. Alright, I used my poison mead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I got hit. <laughs> Hang tight. I just need him not to be in like deep water like that. Yeah, that's just... kind of what happened to me. I just got he was there, and then I couldn't get any hits in. I don't know how I got hit from that, but I'm dead. Oh boy! Go on your way back. He's by yeah. me. If you if you're looking for a waypoint to follow, like right on top of me, is he? Okay. Kind of looked like he was stuck in an idle animation there for a moment. Bone mass, you good, fam? Well, he's standing on my corpse, so, uh... I don't know if I can lure him away. Let me try. If I'm over on this side. Yeah, I'm gonna try to lure him this way. He's coming, he's coming. You, ha you have an opening. I got my stuff. Got a few packs in. Throw your crap at me. Where they? There he is. Only spawn one skeleton for that. Let's see if I can get some hits in from behind. Oh, this is a bad spot. That was just too deep water. Yeah, this is just, this water is just too deep.
We got a good flanking position on him. He's looking my way. If you got, you got, you might have an opening here. Uh, he turned around. This is the play right here. We just gotta, whoever he's not looking at, you gotta get your hacks in. Look at this. Look at this. We got him. Turning my way. Yep, I see him. Easy does it. Don't don't always commit to the three hit combo because two. Hard. You told me something similar when we were playing Dark Souls, and you should know. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. No, I mean, I've committed to the three hit combo and immediately got hit by him, so. Which way is he looking? I can't tell. He's okay, following he's me. You. Like, when he's in it, when he's doing his full spit thing, then, like, commit a full combo. He's still just looking at me. There we go. I got about four minutes left on my mead. I did not bring a spare one, so if this runs out before he's done, I might have to run back to base. That's fine. He's looking my way. He's idle. He's coming my way. He's looking at me, looking at me. Oh. Hang tight. If you got your uh, potion, go ahead and use it. Yep. Sounds good, sounds good. We in here, we in here. Is that gonna spawn skeletons? It does. What? Come down here, skeleton. Oh, he threw his rocket. There we go, let's get some hits in. healing yeah up oh, looking at me I'm waiting for the skeleton to drop he's just hanging out oh is he in a tree or something yeah he's on like a tree stump or something got some hacks in Hang tight, hang tight. You waiting to heal? Yeah. Because I can't use the potion. No worries, right now. no worries. No worries. He's looking at me at the moment. Come on. Look away. I've got a minute and a half left on my poison resistance. Man, he, ugh. Drop some guys near you, I think. Sounds good. You guys got this is right. Whoa. I might have to retreat and get another poison mead in like 20 seconds. Do you wanna you wanna take half time or do you do you wanna hang tight here? What do you wanna do? If you need to go, go ahead. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going hang out. I'll try to keep him busy. Drop your poison on me. Is 
Destroy your dudes. It's tense. I'm on the way back. Actually, let me repair my stuff before I do that. I'm forgetting key elements of this. Alright, on my way. On my way. I am not going to drink this uh, this thing until I see him. I do not want to die to a ghoulie or a wraith or anything. Oh, there's a wraith. I'm in your way? No, I just saw one heading your way. Okay, that's fine. I haven't taken the poison mead yet. If, if I die to it, it's going to be a pain to pick up my stuff, but I haven't... I haven't, like, used it yet, so I, I would just pick it back up. Oh, I see him. Of course he hits me. Let me see if I can use my fire arrows on that wraith for you. Where are you? I'm coming your way. I'm not too far out. See skeletons also? Oh boy, it is a scene out here. I my poison thing is out, so I gotta. No worries. You, if you want to retreat, go for it. I need to retreat anyway. No worries. No worries. Sometimes it be like it do. I don't even know where the base is. I never marked it. Jeff, where are you? I'm fighting Bone Mass, dude. There's a wraith. <laughs> it was chasing me the whole time. Me or you? The wraith was chasing me. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to head to the base because there was a wraith after me. And like oh, three there's the skeletons. Wraith. Uh I'll grab my stuff in a second. I killed the wraith. I'm heading back.
Tim, I'm going to deal the final blow on Bone Mass, and I'm going to deliver a sick one-liner. Just you wait and see. Good. Need some good spots for us to get a pinch attack in. Uh, yeah, we got a... You got a good spot? Seems okay here. Solid ground. He's standing next to a tree. Uh, not solid ground on this side. Well, not anymore. Not on I'm... this side. <laughs> Where he was before, it was fine. My game just hitched and my heart sank thinking I might have disconnected. <laughs> no, it was like a world save. I got that too. Okay. I think right there is fine. Perfect. Ooh, that was a heavy hit. Can't consume that right now. Why do it be like it do? I tried to use my potion immediately after that. Yeah, you have a duration for when you can't use... It's a cooldown? Yeah, it's just... It's the little potion icon with the X on it. Hey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be stuck there. But he just doesn't know which way he wants to go. There is an abomination out here, by the way. Uh, how close? Like, I'm uh, looking at it. <laughs> let's, uh, I'm going to try not to lure it over here. Oh, this is just some deep water. Oh, man, the, the abomination is headed this way. This is just deep water over here. Good thing you have fire abomination. Okay, I think the abomination is leaving. Got him in the head. This might be a good spot for him to be stuck on some collision here. I can get to get a good spot in. Yeah, do you got an opening here? It's hitting me. Oh, it's a skeleton with an arrow. I got hit pretty hard. No worries, no worries. Yep. Take, take the time you need. What's up, Bone Mass? Whoa! Yeah, there's not a good spot there because it was just deep water all around him on my side. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll reposition. And if we can get him away from that abomination. I've lost track of the abomination. He, I shot some fire arrows at him and he ski daddled. So I yeah. hope we don't have to worry about him again. I think he's behind him. From my viewpoint. He's gonna puke. Do you have an opening if we keep him here? You Think have solid so. ground? Okay, this is the spot then. Throw your... your skeleton boys at me. He's coming to my... Okay, he's turning back to you. Like I just keep he turning back and forth. <clears throat> he's gonna puke. He's facing your way. 
Das ist mein. Aha. Gonna puke. Get him, Tim. I, I died fight for my friends. <laughs> you did it. With my dying breath, <laughs> Jeff kills him. <laughs> oh, now I gotta go get my corpse. Did you die right as I delivered the final blow? Yeah, it was the last the last swing he made was at me. <laughs> so I, I held him off for that one last hit. We totally had like a Goku holding Raditz moment. <laughs> yeah. I delivered the special beam cannon. All right, I'm just going to hang out here to be your waypoint. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the tutorial bird. All right. This bone contains powerful magic. Huh. A bone? I didn't get any Something bones. about a wishbone? Bone mass left you a parting gift. His belly was a wishbone. What's the story, wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? It kind of seems familiar, like a story from a book. Anyway, let's go back. Was there more than one? <clears throat> Was there more than one? I got a bone mass trophy. Oh, yeah, there's two wishbones. You want one? Yeah. Drop them both just so I can get whatever crafting that pops up. All right. I can. Okay. I. Sure. I meant the trophy, but yeah. Oh. One of you. you can have a bone, a wishbone as well. Hold on. Oops. Well, why am I auto walking? What did I press? You press Q. Here's the bone mass trophy. <laughs> Look at the size of that lad. Do you want the mat, the trophy? No. I was just going to set it on the sacrificial stone. Oh, hey, a bird. I'm going back. Same. Now we never have to come back. Except for when we decide to fight the bone mass again. I didn't even see what the wishbone was for. No, there's a draw oh. this way. What? What's wrong? You're making me nervous. What happened? Got real quiet on me, Tim. You got real quiet on me. What is this? You can equip the wishbone to find secret things. Oh, you know what? While I'm here. There is a spawner that I can try to kill. Goes that spawner.
I'll use the wishbone once I'm at home. Then come back over here. We're going to have our... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to outro us. We got to have our Valheim retro meeting get down here. No, I got to repair. <laughs> we have to set our... We have to set the uh, statue... The trophy before we go. Oh, okay. Just so we can see what it does. So follow me when you're ready. All right. I'll be at the summoning so stones. I should build a bridge here at some point. I started the moat. And there's a gray lane in it. Is this that's it? There we go. Let's let's take a look at this. Resistant versus physical damage. Seems good. Seems like a good one to have for boss fights. <laughs> Tiny bird, tell me your secrets. I ain't reading this ish. I can sense hidden objects. Well, Jeff, I think we're good to end this if you want. Sure, let's hold on. I gotta, I gotta, whoa. Gotta sit down so that we're having our, our retro meeting. That's yeah. where we have it. <laughs> Well, Tim, our Bone Mass saga is finally over. Friends, if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to hit like and subscribe and join us on Twitch one of these days where we play a variety of games just like this one. And if you did join us on Twitch, we hope you have an excellent evening. And if you're a big fan of games like Valheim, you'll love our next stream where we have scheduled Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball or something similar. Have a nice night, friends. Bye, 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 bye.